Today I'm here to share my joy about my new Serja slash Overlocker. It's the first time I've had one like this and I'm going to be showing you an unboxing, my thoughts, my first ever stitches on it. Stay with me. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from LiftingPinsAndNeedles.com. Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing, limitless sewing. And I'm very happy, so, so, so happy. And the context is that last week my old singer Serja broke. It was actually a very old machine from the mid 90s originally and I don't know how many owners it had previously because I bought it used and although when I bought it it was in excellent working condition and it behaved like a workhorse for the whole year and a half that I used it it just broke on Monday literally the motor inside cracked and there were parts broken and it needed to have a whole replacement of a motor and I didn't really want to go that route just fixing an old machine over and over Having had basic surges my whole sewing life and gone through the process of getting them repaired, end up spending more on repairs than what the machine cost, I decided that it was time to end this. I paid very little for this serger, although it was excellent, it was very old. Replacing that motor meant time away from the machine, having it fixed, taking ages, me not having a serger, and paying more for that repair than what I paid for it being a used machine. I decided to stop doing that, bite the bullet, and just buy a new serger. I always use these semi-industrial, really heavy metal green sergers, generic Chinese brand. They really worked for me, three threads, and I accepted the fact that I couldn't sew knits directly on them, so I would sew with my sewing machine, with a shallow zigzag and then finish the seams and when I got my old Singer machine it was still the same three threads so my practice is continued and now I have a new machine I think it's a model with a number that is for Brazil Genomi Brazil uh, this is a brand that's very big here you have a lot of te technical support and you'll find these machines everywhere so that is super important for me when I decide to buy a machine because I want it serviced easily I want the parts to be there easily I just really want good support and you can't really get a lot of brands here it's very very limited in the amount of sewing machine brands that you can buy here easily I've had good experiences with my main sewing machine that is also the same brand so I got a serger that has a number let me see I never memorize number 7933D and I'll put a picture here of what it looks like it's so pretty I just had a shower I was a hot mess the delivery man got here and I was informed by my family that the sewing machine was on the couch just as I was coming out of the shower. So I filmed a little clip for you, very raw, just, just me coming out of the shower, going to get the machine and the unboxing, taking out all the parts, fiddling with it and sewing my first couple of stitches. So it's just really raw. And I really want to tell you that I'm very ignorant with these machines. Some of the features that this machine has, I'm just not not informed about I'm just I just don't know so it'll be a learning curve but let's see the little clip so you can see what this is all about and what it's going to mean to me it's a happy day I'm about to go downstairs because my machine my new serger has just been delivered and it's downstairs on the couch so I've made up some room here to put the box in and unbox it in front of you I've also made some space here where the serger is going to be just right next to where I sew so that's ready to go so I'm always super nervous when I get a new machine because it takes me a little while to learn the features and to be super comfortable. There it is. I'm just gonna take it upstairs and open it. So excited. This is how the box looks like. This is the number I have. It might be a type of number code that is for Brazil. I'm not exactly sure. But that's the one I have, 7933D. I've had super basic ones in the past, only with three threads. And this one has four or three. So it'll change the way I sew my knits for sure. And it'll be a little bit of a learning curve because I'm not the fastest at learning new things. But I have a whole manual here with all the Janome stuff I can get in Brazil and wear. The warranty and all that stuff, so that's nice. I've got the pedal with the cable right there. There it is, it's super pretty, it looks so new. I mean, I've never had a new, new one like this, so this is pretty exciting. I was 
was just making sure there was nothing left inside the box. I'm gonna put it where it's going to be so I can sit down and relax and play with it. So this is where it's gonna be, right next to my other one. I like having them both next to each other so I can just go back and forth, back and forth. I really wouldn't want to have it far away that I would have to get up to serge a seam. So it's got its own little space right there. So that goes up pretty high for the threads. This one is threaded with the colors that are there so they've got an orange thread a blue a red and a green so i suppose that's going to be easier for me to learn how to thread this there are these controls here on the side to regulate stitch length and differential feed i've never had a machine with that function so it's something new that i'm going to have to play with like there it actually says differential feed and i have no clue what that is i need to watch some videos and learn about that and the threads are with the colors and the diagram there I think is going to be super helpful. I am going to take a few pictures and I've done that in the past. I take really detailed photos of what it looks like now so I can see. This opens up. All these things here that I know you can press and tweak, I don't even want to touch it. Like I'm scared to, to do something here. And I'm gonna have to play and learn it fast because I need it. I need to sew things <laughs> and I need to be using it soon. So I hope I can get the hang of this pretty quickly. There's also a little baggie with some tools. I have a pair of tweezers there. It's smaller than the one I already use. I've had this one for years on end. I think I'll keep using this one because I'm really used to it. I'm glad it's, I'm glad it's metal and I've got some screwdrivers and some extra needles, two types of needles. I already bought separate needles just in case, I, I wasn't sure this was coming with more so I bought two more packets so I have actually 15 needles here for what I need and these ones, 20 needles. If you see there, there are two needles next to each other so this is a brand new function for me, all the surges I've used in the past have only had one needle so this one will be a four thread type of loop and I'll be able to sew my knits directly on here without going through my sewing machine Although I suspect I will still sew on my sewing machine certain areas of knit garments that might need a little bit more precision. So I'm going to have to learn how to transform this from a four thread to a three thread and back and forth quite quickly. Or I might end up just doing it all with the two needles there anyway. So that'll be something I have to learn right now. So I've got four spools of thread right there. They are the tiny ones so they fit on this base and the threads are up there hanging from that little thing and then I have a really big one that doesn't really fit there so I'm just keeping it down there and that's fine it'll still work I took out the little colorful thread so I have all that when I change colors on my machine I don't do this every single time like I'm just gonna try and learn this by memory but what I did now was just knot it and then just pull 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 really really gently until that little knot was passed and then it just went out the, this other side. So that's how I do it when I change colors. I don't re-thread the whole thing. And then I just had to put these through the needle right there, those two threads. So I have my four threads there. And I'm just gonna see what it does without anything. And like just from the box. I've got a little scrap here from my Melody the other day and I'll see what it does. So I think it looks really pretty. It's quite wider than the ones I'm used to seeing. I mean, just the width here is a quarter of an inch on its own. The ones I used to do before were probably up to where that thread is right there. So it was narrower on the edge of the fabric. But this is so pretty and it looks so, so nice and stable. And yeah, I'm very, very happy. I'm sewing something with this color thread right now. So I'm quite happy to sew shoulder seams and side seams with it now. And yeah, I'm super excited to get to know this and see what other things I can do with it. How I can remove the blade, how I can remove that little needle so I just have a three thread. Lots to do yet, but I was just wanting to share my joy with you. So I, I didn't re-thread the machine. The machine came threaded with those colorful threads. All I did was replace my cones at the back, knot them up and just pull, pull, pull until I got the new color coming back. And that's how I do it all the time when I change colors. I rarely, if ever, need to re-thread the whole thing, which doesn't mean I don't have to learn how to do it because, you know, something might happen and I might need to re-thread, you know, one of those four threads or all of them. So 
I'm gonna watch a lot of videos and make sure that I really, really know how to do this when the time comes. I don't wanna be stuck not knowing how to do it. On the side, there's some features that I can regulate stitch length and differential feed, which are features I couldn't regulate in my old machines. All I could regulate were the tensions of the loopers. Basically, that's all I could do with the other ones. So I'm super happy now that I have more possibilities and, and more things that I can do with this that I couldn't do in the past. And if you have a relatively new serger and you don't really know what differential feed is, like me, we're in the same boat, I want to recommend a resource on YouTube that is excellent, super well explained, and watching this video has helped me understand and not be so blind as to what I'm gonna do when I need to start using the serger, which I already have, but just, just using it, you know, not really knowing. So my friend Chris Shapiro has a channel on YouTube called Sojourns, and she filmed a really, really great video about differential feed, and I'll link it down below. It's so good, you know, she shows what it means, how to adjust for what different types of fabric, you know, if you're sewing a neat fabric, what numbers you should use to get a better result, if you're using a light woven, applications that differential feed can benefit you with when you're sewing, like easing in sleeves doing gathers so many cool things even like hems so it's been really helpful for me to understand really really clearly and i've made a little paper with a little with little notes just stuck on the side of my serger so that i can reference and have a guide for when i'm just starting now because i i really don't know what i'm doing <laughs> So until I learn those things, I have that little paper that will be stuck on the side just to give me a reminder of what to adjust with light wovens or if I'm doing knits or if, you know, I want to gather or anything like that. So I know for now I've used it on a garment. I've done shoulder seams and side seams and I know one of the loopers was a bit loose, but I'm going to have to learn and fiddle for now. I could get away with those seams, but I really want to make the most out of this machine and and as soon as i discover new things and applications i'll be for sure filming them and showing you how that's worked for me which are things i have not done in the past i never film myself surging i don't really incorporate it much into my videos because it was really limited to what i could do with my three thread serger so now i can opt between three or four i can remove a needle or not depends what I want to do. I can actually remove the blade now for road hems, which I couldn't do before. So many, so many things and I'm just so, so excited. And you know, this video has no educational purposes at all. I just wanted to share my joy with you. <laughs> I hope you're happy for me. I am using the machine a lot. So it'll be a huge improvement for me, for my time. And I'm really excited to sew a simple knit garment on the serger like everyone else does. And I'm sure I'm still gonna sew some aspects of it on the sewing machine if I need precision in some areas. But I know I could whip up a t-shirt with the serger now instead of doing the machine and the serger, which is gonna cut my sewing time into half, I'm sure. <laughs> So that's all I wanted to share. The next video coming to you will be the one about the full bust adjustment that is part of my fitting series. I know a lot of time has gone by between the last video on the series, but let me tell you how long it's been taking me to make this video. Oh my gosh, it's taken me weeks just to be able to do everything I need to do because you'll see lots of graphics and video and muslin and yeah. It'll be good, so keep your eyes open for that one if that is an adjustment that you think you might need or maybe you don't know you need it. So that's gonna be the next one you'll see from me. And I'm excited to finally make it come true because it's been a pretty long process. Let me know how you've adapted to new surges or overlockers. Maybe you don't have one. Maybe you want to get one and maybe you want to plan and create a little fun to save to buy a serger because it does really help with your sewing. It makes it look nice inside. It can cut down your sewing time. So I'm a fan. I'm a fan. You know, I would always want to have one and I'm so, so, so happy I was able to purchase a brand new one, which is awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much for spending a little time with me today and I'll see you very soon. Bye.